Sertraline hydrochloride is a medication used to treat depression and certain conditions known as obsessive compulsive disorder, panic disorder and social phobia. Often with these medical conditions, especially in the case of depression, there are low levels of the neurotransmitters dopamine, serotonin and norepinephrine. Therefore, the principles of sertraline and antidepressants in general is that they increase the amounts of these neurotransmitters. Some of the trade names of sertraline hydrochloride include Zoloft, Zosert, Serdep and Sertima. Sertraline often comes in dosages of 50 mg or 100 mg and here is the chemical structure of sertraline hydrochloride. If we look at the synapse, this is often where these neurotransmitters are released. In the presynaptic membrane, in the case of serotonin, we have serotonin stored in these vesicles and when a nerve impulse comes along, these vesicles fuse with the presynaptic membrane to release serotonin in the synaptic cleft. And here they bind to postsynaptic receptors and then the effects of serotonin are felt. The effect of serotonin include elevated mood, optimism, happiness and satisfaction. Normally the serotonin is released but eventually it returns back to the presynaptic neuron. The basic principles of sertraline is that it prevents the serotonin moving back to the presynaptic neuron. So it remains in the cleft, binding to these receptors and keeping mood elevated. So sertraline increases the serotonergic activity in the central nervous system. And over time, with continued use of sertraline, there is downregulation of receptors known as presynaptic 5-HT1A. And this is associated with an improvement in passive stress tolerance. Sertraline use can also increase the brain neurotrophic factor and studies also show that depression is linked to low brain neurotrophic factor. So this is the basic principle of how sertraline works. We've made it to the end of the video so leave a 100 emoji so I know you've made it to the end. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.